Hey, what's up everybody? So over the holidays, we hit 100 subscribers on this channel. We're at about 120, 125 right now, give or take. But this video is to celebrate the milestone of 100 subscribers. So in a few minutes, I'll share some things that I learned that helped me get to 100 subscribers. May help you, it certainly has helped me uh, to get to this point and I think it will help me in the future to get to my next milestone of 1,000 subscribers. First though, I wanna share a little short film, a micro film that I created today to celebrate this milestone and I wanted to share this with you since the genre or the niche of my channel is uh, you know, DIY filmmaking, learning how to do this type of thing on your own. I thought this would be a great example, so here you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little microfilm, that little sequence there. It was really fun to kind of put all of those shots together and to kind of think through that and to kind of uh, make my own uh, play button for 100 subscribers since there's not really one of those. Uh, luckily, I found a guy online that had already created this. I was able just to put my channel name in, print this out, put it into a frame I already had, and, you know, there you go. So here's the details on how I think I got to this fairly quickly. So I've had this channel for a little while. I've put a few videos on it, but they weren't really serious. They were kind of like, you know, some things that I had filmed to go along with some music that I had recorded uh, or some live performances of friends that were performing out locally that I just kind of pieced together some videos for them. Uh, that was most of what my channel was up until, you know, recently, maybe, you know, September or so of 2019. Uh, at that point, uh, a couple of time-lapse videos that I had created started to gain some traction and I thought, well, you know, maybe people are interested in this. And so I started creating a couple of more, you know, August and September, October, and then uh, I've got a little, little consistent with it. And then I started seeing the subscribers go up, the views started going up. And, you know, so between, you know, October and December, I put out several videos and the consistency of that, uh, you know, really raised the, the amount of people watching my, my videos. Uh, the video that I did about you know getting ideas for short films uh, using the uh, the telephone over here you know that gained quite a few subscribers um, so I thought this is a great thing people are interested in creating films on their own I'm certainly interested in it so let's do this let's create some tutorials let's show how to do these things all the way from you know how to set your camera up and film these things to you know writing the story to creating some of your own music uh, to set the the atmosphere of your film but these are all things that we'll cover on this channel as well as hopefully yeah, I'd love to get into you know making some props and things like that so if these are the kinds of things that interest you make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss any of the videos back to the main thing that I used I believe to help me in the past few months has been TubeBuddy I'm sure you've seen this a bajillion times all over the internet people talking all about TubeBuddy or vidIQ or one of these things but I'm telling you if you use the tools like Keyword Explorer um, to research a topic and to find the right way to phrase it based upon what people are searching for, it can certainly help you. 
you know, you want your title, you want your first paragraph, your first you know, few lines of your description, as well as, you know, the tag section. They say that these days that the tags don't matter that much. I, what I think matters is that they match what's in your description and what's in your title. So, you know, I have a lot of uh, results from search, but it's a large percentage of, of my views. This is all because of the way that I write the descriptions and the tags that I have and the topics that I am directing these videos toward. So the other big thing is just, you know, consistency. Right now I'm trying to put out as many videos as I can. I'm trying to streamline my process so that it's very quick for me to be able to do this type of thing. I'm at about 60, 61 videos right now. I plan to hit 100 videos pretty soon, like in the next month or two or so, and then um, try to kind of figure out where I can level out and get onto this schedule to make these videos that I want to make, teaching people how to do these things as well as creating my own projects and sharing them with the world as well. So thanks for watching this, and if you've already subscribed, thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider it. And uh, if you like this video, give it a like. If you love this video, please share it with someone else. And we'll see you next time.